Um, since Baal uh, gave a talk in English and Daniel will continue in, in English, it seems appropriate for me to, to have a sort of segue into that talk too. That talk too. <coughs> so I'm, as everybody else today, I'm very happy to, to be here and to have all of you guys here in this room and to be able to share a few thoughts with you all. Um, it is my strong feeling that we are at the beginning of a great, of a grand revolution in the human civilization where uh, technology is transforming the way we live and work. <coughs> and also I'm very happy that we can be a part of that revolution by creating value for both us and for the society at large. Of course, when I say this, I am not saying anything new. This is sort of obvious. But at the same time, I do believe that we can get some benefit out of keeping that thought somewhere back in our, in our minds while, while we're uh, making this revolution go even further. There are multitude, multitudes of business opportunities that have been uncovered uh, during uh, uh, rolling out of new technological advances which were created by entrepreneurs all over the world, tech entrepreneurs like yourselves. Um, this guy here who's called Mark Andreessen, uh, who is among other things the co-founder of Netscape and thus one of the fathers of the modern web, had this to say about uh, what is coming next, next in the sense of business opportunities. Uh, this is part of his, uh, uh, from his article called Why Software is Eating the World. He says, six decades into the computer revolution, four decades since the invention of the microprocessor, and two decades into the rise of the modern internet, all the, techno all the technology required to transform in industries through software finally works and can be widely delivered at global scale. Over the next 10 years, I expect many more industries to be disrupted by software. This notion has been echoed by other people too, like the CEO of Evernote, uh, whom we listened to a few weeks ago at a conference, who said that today is the best moment in, in history to start a startup. And he said this because today it's far more cheaper and far more easier to start a startup than it was only 10 years ago. And he should know he started two startups previously in the period of the previous 12 years. But of course, it's not all just about the business. It's about creating innovations and new technology solutions that can really create a big, big impact. If you're seeing this comic for the first time, you'll probably laugh, just as I did when I saw it for the first time. But in this case, I, I really think it's really funny because it's true. Um, some of you here in this room are very, very young. And uh, by the way, I think that's really awesome. Uh, some of you might not remember how, how it was like to not be able to find a book in your local library that will give you answers to topics that you're very interested about. Uh, not even be, being able to find someone to ask questions on the niche topic that you're interested in. Perhaps not even being able to find an album from a music group that you like because it was not available in your local store. All of this changed completely in the space of the last 10 to 15 years and we take all those things now for granted. Some of you might not even remember how it was like to only be able to arrange meetings with other people via landline. Uh, not being able to call someone on your phone and ask them, hey, where you are, let's meet up there. And this is also a change that happened in the last 10 to 15 years. And one of the uh, biggest illustrations of the rapidness and uh, uh, how deep the technology transformation was is perhaps the fact that all of us now have with us these super powerful computers that we take everywhere with us. And, uh, that, that have only been around for, let's say, five years since uh, the first iPhone came, came up, which is now a driver of a global and very successful industry. Only five years. I really think this is amazing. And that it speaks volumes about the opportunities that all of, all of us have. Of course, there are many big and small problems left out there uh, for all of us to solve. And I'm very happy to be in the presence of so many people who are by, by their choosing of a career of tech entrepreneurship uh, are in the best position to solve those next big problems. 
and I hope that we will be able to give you tools and knowledge to solve those problems and be more successful with, in your enterprises. Before going, going further, I would just like to tell you a few things about this project that, we're, that we've put up. We've tried really hard to create a world-class program for you guys that would be informative, that would be engaging, and that would be, above all other things, useful. So I would like you to think about it and to try to get the most of it, to take advantage of this unique uh, opportunity in this part of the world. There are only a few other programs like this in the whole world. So take advantage of this opportunity. And one of the ways that you can take advantage of it, as you might remember from our interviews, is by coming every time or, or nearly every time to these sessions. And also to be focused, to take notes if necessary, and to never hold back a question uh, if you think that you might look stupid, because you would be stupid by holding back any questions. We have a long list of world-class presenters and lecturers coming here, so take out try to take out everything out of them that might be useful to you guys. And one more thing, uh, try to help each other as much as you can whenever there's an opportunity. Because in, in one way, we're all part of the same community. That is, uh, uh, every single of us, uh, every, every one of us is as strong as all of us together are. Uh, the most successful startup ecosystem in the world, Silicon Valley, one of their uh, foundations is the fact that their culture is one of uh, cooperation and working together on solving problems. So have that in mind, and whenever you guys need help, uh, be free to, to ask us for it. That's about everything I had in mind. Lada, you'll be announcing Daniel now.